Authorities in Baltimore have recovered the body of a third construction worker who was killed in the Baltimore Bridge collapse. The recovered individual was identified as 38-year-old Maynor Yasser Swanzer Sandoval. Officials previously said six workers were making repairs at the bridge when it collapsed. The bodies of two of them were recovered last week. Meanwhile, President Biden traveled to Baltimore Friday to survey the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. He observed the devastation from the Marine One helicopter before receiving a briefing from local officials. He once again pledged the full support of the federal government in response and recovery efforts. In the weeks to come, I want you to know we're going to continue to have your back every step of the way. I guarantee you we're coming back. We're coming back soon. Folks, finally, we're going to move heaven and earth to rebuild this bridge as rapidly as humanly possible. And Chris Van Cleve joins me now. So, Chris, tell us what more uh, have we learned from the president's visit? Well, the president uh, certainly got an update from local leaders here about the relief effort. He also spent time with the families of the six uh, construction workers who were on the bridge and lost their lives when it came down. Uh, you know, the Army Corps of Engineers late last night came out and said that they believe they can get a 35 foot deep shipping channel back open by the end of the month. That will allow some cargo ships into the port. And then they said they think they can get the main channel, the one that's back here that they're, that's being worked on with as many as 12 cranes and 51 divers. I think they can get that open again by the end of May. Uh, and that would get the port fully back up and running. The president said the port is responsible for about 20,000 jobs here in the area. Um, and so getting it back open is key. Maryland's governor announced a agreement between 50 area businesses not to reduce their staffing despite the closure of the port. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles and the Baltimore Ravens also announced a $10 million donation to recovery efforts. And Chris, while we're talking dollars and cents, Maryland's congressional delegation is intending to meet with Governor Wes Moore and White House Budget Director Young next week. Talk to us about the funding issues that are at stake. Well, one of the challenges here is it's not exactly clear how much it's going to cost to clean up the debris and then to build a new bridge. So they're talking with the Biden administration uh, not only about uh, continuing to get support for the ongoing response efforts, but also trying to get money dedicated to start the construction of the bridge when that becomes possible. They want to have the money in place so they can begin work immediately. Uh, some of that is obviously going to have to go through Congress. Some of that may be available through existing funds. That's part of uh, what they'll be meeting with the Biden administration next week. We understand it'll be Tuesday in Washington. All right. Chris Van Cleve in Baltimore. Thank you. Sure thing.